Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. Today is the fourth video in the six steps to the probate process. I have now decided to change this to the seven steps we've gone through. Uh, I started the series with the intention of preparing uh, a giveaway called the six steps to the probate process. And then uh, in real time, every day, I've been working a little bit on it, and I decided to do seven steps. The sixth step I've been speaking about is the uh, uh, filing of the petition, the actual uh, physical petition, whether that be electronically uh, or in person. And if it's truly uncontested, if all of the... Uh, the heirs, beneficiaries, people in the will consent to probate. It's uncontested, it gets filed without a court date. If the executor or the distribution is challenged in any way, it becomes a contested matter and you have to make an application to the court for a citation. Now, let's say that we get through that and maybe there's a little bit of a challenge, but the person doesn't. So a challenge is, uh, is a funny word in the sense of a person could choose not to sign a consent, but then not show up in court. That's less contested, um, but it would have uh, delayed the process and caused a court date. Say we get past the citation um, issue in the surrogate's court, what is the next step? Well, uh, and again, step six was mentally we're thinking about that. Do we know that there's gonna be a challenge? If we don't have consents, then we know we have to uh, ultimately ask the court for a citation. Now, step seven is to file the petition along with the items from step one and two, right? So what does that mean? We file the petition, our affidavit of comparison, our affidavit of attesting witnesses, our waivers to probate, consent to the matter, um, any other affidavits that we have determined would be necessary that go along with your petition. With the original last will and testament, the original paid funeral bill, and the original uh, certified death certificate. All of those items are filed with the court along with a filing fee. As I mentioned, the filing fee is on a sliding scale. Um, and once it's filed in the court, then we can uh, wait for the surrogate, that's the judge that's in the probate court in New York. Our probate court is called the surrogate's court. The surrogate is the judge in that court will issue letters testamentary, okay? So that's the probate process in a nutshell. Even as I try to make it simple, it's almost like a choose your own ending book because it, it depends along the way what happens. It's like when you sit down at a dinner table and you have a, uh, a fork, a knife, and a spoon all those items, those utensils are there for whatever food is served. So if you have soup, you'd grab the spoon. If you have uh, a meat, you might grab the fork and the knife. <laughs> I'm gonna work out that, uh, that analogy for future use. If you would like to speak about your probate matter, if you don't have a will, that would be an administration please give me a call about that as well. I can work you through the process. I can tell you what's expected and uh, how to get from uh, beginning to end in the smoothest possible way, even while these are very difficult and serious circumstances. Right? We're dealing with the, uh, the passing of a loved one and uh, I joke around a little bit about uh, the process and the words I say, and you know, uh, give some levity 
but it's always a serious matter and I always uh, treat the matter uh, with the utmost respect and reverence. If you need to speak with me, frankbrunolaw.com. Thank you.